Hello everyone! Today we are going to finish reading The Day the Crayons Quit. We're starting off with Green Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I'm writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Coloring Things Green career. The second reason I write is for my friends, Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon, because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friends, Green Crayon. So Green Crayon likes its shop. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we are no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun, too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color in the sun on your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page 7. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true color of the sun yellow crayon. Hmm, what do you think the true color of the sun is? Yellow? Orange? Maybe some red? Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon already talked to you, the big whiner. Anyway, could you please tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know I am clearly the color of the sun. Because on Thursday, you used me to color the sun on both the Monkey Islands and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day at the Zoo coloring book. Aren't you glad I'm here? Ha, your pal and the real color of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it has been great being your favorite color this past year. And the year before. And the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news, <gasps> the blue crayon, is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing of the crayon box anymore. I need a break. Your very stubby friend, blue crayon. So blue crayon likes his job, but he does it so much that he's really short now. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I am a girl color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job. Here's a little picture of the coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. So Pink Crayon's really tall because he does not get used much by Duncan. And last but not least, hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help your naked friend, Peach Crayon. I know we have a lot of naked crayons in our class. And broken crayons. Well, poor Duncan just wanted the color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. I wonder what his solution will be. <gasps> Look at the picture Duncan made. I see pink and orange and red. I see some peach and gray and blue. He used all of the colors. And when Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring and an A plus for creativity. Instead of a question today, I want you to show me a coloring page you do with at least four different colors.